Sometimes a favorite of evolutionists is Archeopteryx. Archeopteryx was claimed to be an example of a missing link. It meets the criteria for missing link, I will give you that, but it all comes down to what you believe. Whichever one you believe, it affects the way you look at things. If you believe in the beginning God, or in the beginning Big Bang. If you believe in the, in the beginning God, Archeopteryx can be interpreted. If you believe in the, in the beginning Big Bang, Archeopteryx can be interpreted. However, I don't think that Archeopteryx is a missing link, as I don't think any such fossils that are missing links exist, period. Archeopteryx is a fully flying, fully formed perching bird. Here are some ideas that you might come across. Well, you might hear that it has claws on its wings. Well, the Hortzen, while it's a juvenile, has claws on its wings. So that's not a problem at all. In fact, the Hortzen has its claws for a design purpose. Have a look around the internet and see for yourself. Well, it had teeth, you might hear. Well, that Jotrix did indeed have teeth. That's true. Well, here's something interesting. Some non-carnivorous creatures living today have sharp teeth. One g good example is the panda. It has non-carnivorous teeth that God gave it, which are used to eat bamboo. God gave the panda those teeth so that it could eat the food it eats. So why do you think Archeptrix had sharp teeth, hmm? I think it had sh sharp teeth so that it could eat the food God intended it to eat. Finally, a favourite of mine, it had a bony theropod dinosaur tail. I like this one. I think to say that it's a missing link because of its tail is stupid. The pheasant cockle, that is also alive today, has a long tail. Similar why do you think Archeptrix had a long tail? Oh gee, yeah. I don't know. Maybe because it needed it. Bingo! It needed it for some purpose while it was alive. There's no such thing as a, as a vestigial bone or organ. As you can see, it's all about putting your preconceived evolutionary imagination on it and saying, well, there must be a missing link because it has traits of a dinosaur. This is totally ridiculous. Just because something has a long tail, teeth and claws on its wings does not mean that we came from a pool of complex chemicals billions of years ago. People who say Arch Jeptrix is proof that evolution happened, ask them where the tag saying I evolved into birds is. When you dig them up, they don't leap up and say I'm a missing link. You put your preconceived evolutionary imagination on it and hey presto! If you want to know more about fossils, see my video. It should have just flashed up there in the top right hand corner. The video should prove that Evolutionists do put their preconceived imaginations on things. See the comments, there should be a few if you have a look. God bless Andrew King on 15.